Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to my Reconnect series, my live series of trainings every Thursday to help you reconnect yourself, to help you step into your power and purpose and increase your impact and income. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Faye Semple, and I am a spiritual and energy embodiment coach to successful female entrepreneurs. So, yeah, Thursday, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'll just wait for a few minutes for people to join me. I'm a little bit late, sorry. Um, yeah, just some technical things, but we're here now. So, and we've got a long weekend, most people, with Easter weekend coming up. And as normal in Britain, the UK, the weather has turned very cold and nasty because we've all got a few days off work. So, and it was blisteringly hot yesterday. So I'm just going to share this onto my personal feed so we can have other people joining on there as well. So how are we? How are we? How the devil are we? Um, how's, how's life treating you? Are you on point? Are you on focus? Are you being productive? You know, how are you actually feeling? Let me know with some emojis. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling. Why can't I find myself so I can share? There we go. Now I can share. Share it to um, share it to my uh, sorry, share it to my feed on my other page. Super. Right. There we go. Lovely. Now I can see myself. So, right. Yeah. Reconnect. I wanted to come on today to talk about refocusing and living our purpose. It's very easy in life to go off track. You know, when things aren't going according to plan, it can be easy to look at what other people are saying and doing and thinking, mm, maybe I should be doing that too. Maybe I should be following what they're doing because it's obviously working for them. Maybe it'll work for me too. But imitation and inauthenticity isn't the way to go. We create success by being who we are, by expressing our own unique gifts, expressing the talents that we came into this life to deliver to other people. And it takes a lot of time and energy to observe what other people are doing. And then we're, it's only distracting us from doing what we are meant to be doing, which is living our life of purpose. That's what we came here to do, to live a life of purpose. So let me know in the comments how many of you feel that you understand your purpose, that you're living your purpose. You know, give me some hearts, give me some emojis. If you're watching live, let me know if you're here live. And, um, you know, if you're watching on replay, let me know if you're watching on replay. If you're watching on live, you need to let StreamYard know who you are so I can see your name and your comments. Um, otherwise, I won't know who you are. So. My invitation for you today is to refocus on why you started on this path and what exactly it is that you desire. You know, if we started your business and we can get so wrapped up in the doing and the, the developing programs and dealing with clients and dealing with the finances and juggling our family and homeschooling, it's it's. We can lose our focus. So, as I say, my invitation to you today is to refocus on why you started on this path. What what exactly is it that you're desiring to do in your life? If we don't refocus and regain clarity, it's very easy, as I say, to get stuck in the doing, to get stuck in the just doing all the things and looking at what other people are doing and going, it's working for them. Maybe it'll work for me. And that distracts us from our focus of living our purpose. And, you know, speaking about what the gifts that we bring to the world, how we can help other people using our own authentic voice and experience, our own stories. You know, don't worry about what other people are doing. Stay in your lane. So I've got four simple questions to ask today that are really going to help you refocus on your life's path, on your mission. So question number one is, what do I need to let go of in order to get back on track? And so often we can hold on to people or experiences or goals that even no longer serve us, but we've had them for so long, we're not going to give up now. You know, I mean, but it may be a question of reassessing where we want to go, refocusing, looking again at our big dreams, looking again at the bigger picture. What do I want? And then letting go of any habits, any beliefs any people or any old goals that are no longer appropriate to that bigger vision. They might have been a stepping stone 
or there might have been something that we thought we wanted at that time, but now we can see with hindsight that it's not something we need to cling on to. So ask yourself, you know, dig deep into this. Ask yourself some of these deeper questions. What do I need to let go of to stay on track? And if you want to share something in the comments, I say you'll have to let StreamYard know your name. But if you want to share something in the comments um, about something you've got clarity on that you need to let go on, then feel free to share. So question number two is what do I need to focus on to make this dream my reality? Now, we all, we know, you can have, you know, I want to create a business that I, you know, gives me unbounded income, that gives me freedom of time, that gives me freedom to spend with my children, that gives me, you know, a deep sense of lived purpose, that I'm really connected to my soul and I'm doing what I came here to do. What do you need to focus on to create that reality? So part of the letting go is that. So what do you need to let go of? But what actually do you need to bring into your life? So what levels of joy do you need to cultivate in your life? You know, we we create success out of feeling abundant, out of feeling rich. It's not about having money in the bank account. The feeling of wealth and abundance is cultivated from within. And we create that by surrounding ourselves with feel good stuff. So who do you need to be? listening to on YouTube or podcasts or TV that's going to inspire you, that's going to give you ideas and actions that you can take. Are you, what kind of self-care? What brings you joy? What activities did you used to love doing but that you're no longer doing in all the hubbub and daily grind of living? How can you bring those things back into your life? And if you're in business, you know, what action steps do you need to take? What, how do you need to promote your services? How many consult calls do you need to have? How much do you need to charge to earn that income? Really focus in on the actions that you need to take to make your dream a reality. So again, if you've got ideas, share them in the comments. You know, really get clear on what you what you need to do. Um, so, and what do you need to focus on to take the next step? So if you want to um launch a new service or product in your business or you'll just think about starting your business what is the next step you need to take so if you're thinking about starting your business you know what do you actually need to do do you need to set systems in place do you need to name your business do you need to start telling people about it do you need to start working out what you need to sell are you talking to your ideal clients about what they need where are the gap in the market what step is it that you need to take identify that first focus, that first step to get you on that ladder to creating your dream life. And question number four, finally, is what do I need to focus on to create momentum after I've taken that next big step? So creating momentum means we actually want a quick result. We we proceed at a better, better pace if we can quickly achieve results. So this is why it's not the big steps that bring the big results, because actually those big steps are often lots of little steps. So if we can take that little step, and you might be thinking about starting your own business, for instance, and you haven't even told anybody that this is what you want to do. So go and tell somebody that that's what you want to do. But don't tell anybody that's going to rain on your parade or piss on your bonfire or tell you why you can't do it. Tell one of your supportive friends who sees the gifts that you have, who knows you can bring so much to the world. And that supportive friend is going to say, that's a brilliant idea. You know, do you need any help? Let's brainstorm. Tell somebody that's going to support you. Don't tell someone that you know is going to turn around and go, hmm, because they are part of the problem. It's no good going to people who don't support you and are trying to keep you small for a solution to the problem that they are part of. Tell someone that really supports you what you want to achieve. So those are the four questions that um, I have for you today. And I want you to remind, I want to remind you right now, you know, we can get impatient, but you're exactly where you need to be. And there is nobody that can um, do you and bring your voice and bring your gifts to the world the way you do. We, there are many people in spiritual and business mentoring like myself 
but we're all very different. We all bring our unique experiences and our unique views, our unique characters, our unique personalities that will resonate with our ideal audience. So it doesn't matter how flooded you think the market is out there, there is room for everybody. So when you're looking around at somebody else's magic and wondering if you can do the same thing, you know, you came here to create your own magic, your own wonder, your own results with your own ideal client. And what you can do, nobody else can replicate. Nobody else has that same style, that same whatever, that same little nugget that makes you you, that special quality that makes you you. Nobody else has it. And that is the thing that's going to bring you success, learning to be you unapologetically go out there so it's a really all about really remembering why you're here and what your unique purpose is and sometimes we do have to take the time to refocus on that big picture you know what really inspires you what makes your soul sing within that is the key to your success my um my personal thing was you know i love working with energy and i love working with spiritual energy esoteric energy all kinds of energy but by creating that business, I also realized that I like helping women unlock their own talents to create their own business. So I've, I've also evolved into that because that's what makes my heart sing. I want to help empower other women to make success in their life, you know, to move towards equality. That's a big motivator of what I do. So that was part. That's how my business has evolved. So stepping into our purpose creates the momentum, creates the success. It starts to, we start to see the path unfold in front of us, but we have to take those first steps in faith, knowing that with acting upon faith, you know, faith over fear, that that is how we create this magic. That's how we create miracles. So take this for, as a nudge from the infinite intelligence that to pull your head out of all the doing that you're doing, recenter and take some time over the weekend to just you know, realign, refocus, look at yourself, and then you can come back next week with a whole new focus after the Easter holidays, if you have the Easter holidays, and just know that, you know, you've got this. You're where you need to be. You're doing what you need to be doing, and you have absolutely got this. So I hope to see you again next week. And if you'd like some real support, um, come over to my Facebook group, the Quantum Success Circle. Uh, we will get you thinking and doing and being at your next level. I'm also in there live doing weekly coaches on a weekly coaching on a Friday bar tomorrow. There's going to be a recorded one because it's Good Friday. So and you can join the free group by clicking on the link above. Right. I will see you all soon. Take care, everybody. And I'll see you next week for the next Reconnect. Bye.